What if I told you a critical resource we all depend on is disappearing around the world? What if California, a state known for prosperity, was facing a crisis of its own? But there may be a billion dollar solution lying beneath the surface. The world is facing an imminent water crisis that threatens to impact every corner of the globe. According to a recent United Nations report, water scarcity is becoming increasingly prevalent, with many regions already experiencing severe shortages. Developing countries are bearing the brunt of this crisis, with millions of people lacking access to clean drinking water and adequate sanitation facilities. However, the problem is not limited to these nations alone. In California, one of the wealthiest and most prosperous states in the United States, the effects of water scarcity are becoming increasingly apparent. In 2022, the state recorded one of its driest years on record, with many areas experiencing severe drought conditions. As a result, over 600 square miles of prime farmland in the Sacramento Valley had to be left fallow due to insufficient water levels. This is particularly concerning given that California is the nation's leading agricultural producer, supplying more food than any other state. With the state's farmers struggling to maintain their crops, the impacts of water scarcity are likely to be felt far beyond California's borders, potentially leading to rising food prices and supply chain disruptions nationwide. The Sacramento Valley, once a lush and fertile region that served as the backbone of California's agricultural industry, is now facing a dire situation. Years of prolonged drought have left the valley quite literally sinking as farmers resort to overpumping groundwater to irrigate their crops. This excessive reliance on groundwater has led to a phenomenon known as land subsidence, where the land surface gradually sinks as the underlying aquifers are depleted. The problem is compounded by the fact that the Sacramento River, the largest river system in California, is no longer flowing at its normal levels due to reduced snowmelt and rainfall. This has left the region's groundwater reserves severely depleted, with little prospect of replenishment in the near future. As a result, farmers are facing an increasingly uncertain future, with many forced to abandon their fields or switch to less water-intensive crops. The economic impacts of this water crunch are being felt throughout the region, with rural communities struggling to survive as agricultural jobs disappear. Unless decisive action is taken to address the underlying causes of water scarcity, the Sacramento Valley may soon become a cautionary tale of the devastating consequences of over-exploitation and mismanagement of our most precious natural resources. For nearly four decades, the 1.6 million residents of California's capital city have depended on a critical piece of infrastructure that often goes unnoticed, the Sacramento Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant. This massive facility processes a staggering 135 million gallons of sewage every day, playing a vital role in protecting public health and the environment. However, in 2010, new regulations were introduced that placed strict limits on the levels of ammonia and nitrates allowed in the treated water discharged from the plant. To meet these stringent standards, the facility embarked on a massive $1.7 billion upgrade project known as the Echo Water Project. This ambitious undertaking aimed to overhaul every aspect of the treatment process, from the initial screening of raw sewage to the final disinfection of the treated water. The project involved the construction of new treatment facilities, the installation of advanced filtration systems, and the implementation of cutting-edge biological nutrient removal technologies. Over the course of a decade, the Echo Water Project transformed the Sacramento Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant into a state-of-the-art facility capable of producing some of the cleanest treated wastewater in the country. This mega project represents a significant investment in California's water infrastructure and a major step forward in the state's efforts to address its ongoing water crisis. The Echo Water Project was a complex and multifaceted endeavor that required careful planning, coordination, and execution. Over the course of the decade-long upgrade, every aspect of the Sacramento Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant was touched in some way. 
The project involved 22 separate subprojects, each designed to enhance the reliability, efficiency, and effectiveness of the treatment process. One of the most significant components of the upgrade was the construction of the tertiary treatment facilities, which handle the critical processes of disinfection and filtration. These facilities include a series of concrete structures, pumping stations, and advanced treatment systems that work together to remove contaminants and pathogens from the wastewater. At the heart of the upgraded plant is the Biological Nutrient Removal BNR, facility, which consists of eight massive basins filled with specialized bacteria that consume organic matter and nutrients. The bacteria in the BNR system are capable of removing 99% of ammonia and 89% of nitrogen from the wastewater, helping to meet the stringent requirements set forth in the 2010 regulations. The Echo Water Project also involved significant upgrades to the plant's electrical and communication systems, as well as improvements to its chemical storage and handling facilities. These enhancements have helped to create a more resilient and sustainable wastewater treatment system that will serve the needs of the Sacramento region for generations to come. The Sacramento Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant employs a sophisticated multi-step process to transform raw sewage into clean, safe water that can be discharged into the Sacramento River. The first step in this process is the removal of solid waste and large particles from the incoming wastewater. This is accomplished through a series of screening and grit removal systems that filter out debris and heavy particles. From there, the wastewater enters the biological nutrient removal, BNR basins, where specialized bacteria consume organic matter and nutrients such as ammonia and nitrogen. These bacteria are carefully cultivated and maintained to ensure optimal performance and efficiency. After the BNR process, the treated water moves onto a series of clarifier tanks, where the bacteria and any remaining solids are removed. The clarified water then undergoes a final filtration process to remove any remaining impurities before being disinfected with chlorine. This disinfection step is critical to ensuring that the treated water is free of harmful pathogens and safe for release into the environment. Finally, the chlorine is neutralized, and the treated water is discharged into the Sacramento River, where it can help to replenish groundwater supplies and support local ecosystems. The Echo Water Project was a complex and challenging undertaking that required careful planning and coordination to ensure success. One of the biggest challenges faced by the project team was the need to keep the existing treatment plant operational throughout the entire construction process. With a constant flow of wastewater entering the facility, there was no room for error or delays. To overcome this challenge, the project team worked closely with plant staff to coordinate shutdowns and tie-ins to the existing treatment processes. This required a high level of communication and collaboration between all parties involved. Another significant challenge was the need to meet strict requirements for pouring the massive concrete water holding structures that formed the foundation of the new treatment facilities. These structures needed to be completely watertight to prevent leaks and ensure the integrity of the treatment process. To achieve this, the project team relied on advanced modeling and simulation tools to plan and execute each pour with precision. The sheer scale and complexity of the project also presented logistical challenges, with multiple sub-projects occurring simultaneously across the sprawling facility. Careful scheduling and resource allocation were critical to keeping the project on track and within budget. To help manage the complexity of the Echo Water Project, the project team employed cutting-edge digital twin technology. Developed by Bentley Systems, this powerful software platform allowed the team to create a virtual replica of the entire treatment plant, complete with detailed 3D models of every component and system. The digital twin was constantly updated with real-time data from the physical plant, providing a comprehensive view of the facility's performance and condition. This technology proved invaluable in helping the project team to plan and execute the complex construction process. By using the digital twin to simulate different scenarios and test potential solutions, the team was able to identify and resolve issues before they became problems in the real world. The digital twin also allowed for better collaboration and communication among the various stakeholders involved in the project. With everyone working from a common virtual model, it was easier to coordinate efforts and ensure that everyone was on the same page. 
The platform's ability to integrate 3D models with scheduling and cost data also provided a powerful tool for managing budgets and timelines. By leveraging the power of digital twin technology, the Echo Water project was able to achieve unprecedented levels of efficiency and precision, ultimately delivering a successful outcome for the Sacramento region. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Echo Water project was its ability to deliver significant cost savings while still achieving its ambitious goals. Despite the project's massive scale and complexity, the team was able to bring it in under budget, saving approximately $400 million in the process. This is a remarkable achievement for a public infrastructure project of this size and scope. The cost savings were achieved through a combination of careful planning, innovative design, and the use of advanced technology, such as the digital twin platform. By identifying opportunities for efficiency and optimization throughout the construction process, the team was able to minimize waste and reduce costs without compromising quality or safety. The $400 million in savings are now being reinvested in a new project aimed at delivering treated wastewater to local farms and wildlife habitats. This agricultural reuse project will help to reduce the region's reliance on groundwater pumping, allowing aquifer levels to recover and promote more sustainable farming practices. By treating and reusing wastewater in this way, the Sacramento region is not only saving money, but also taking a significant step towards addressing its ongoing water crisis. The Echo Water Project demonstrates that with the right approach and technology, it is possible to achieve both economic and environmental sustainability in large-scale infrastructure projects. While it may not grab headlines, wastewater infrastructure is utterly essential to our way of life. And with droughts and shortages likely to worsen in the future, projects like the Echo Water Upgrade in Sacramento are increasingly vital. By applying cutting-edge technology to enhance the way we treat and reuse this precious resource, California is showing how a sinking region can start to turn the tide. This billion-dollar megaproject might just be the lifeline needed to save the state from its water woes. 